back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Whoever doesn't know me, my name is Svetlana and today I want to show you how I make salmon teriyaki with homemade teriyaki sauce. It takes literally five minutes to make that homemade teriyaki sauce and the difference is huge. I mean, if you don't want to do it, I have all the ingredients always, but if you don't have ingredients and you dine to make the salmon, of course you could use store-bought teriyaki sauce and it's gonna be delicious. I have here four salmon fillets, around this, like two inches thick. So if you have a thinner ones, then you have to adjust the time while we're cooking. Okay, let's begin. And I'm gonna make the sauce first, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make a salmon. For this recipe, we will need brown sugar, mirin wine, soy sauce, sesame oil, cornstarch, water. Here I have two cloves of garlic and about three teaspoons, two, three teaspoons of grated ginger. And for garnish, we're gonna use toast sesame seeds and our scallion. Okay, let's begin prepping our delicious teriyaki sauce. This cornstarch we will use for later. We don't need it now. It's going to be used uh, to thicken our sauce. And here I have three four cup, three four cup of water. I'm going to put it in my saucepan. I'm going to use the same amount of um, soy sauce. I add three four cup of my soy sauce in there. I'm going to add four tablespoons of brown sugar, four tablespoons of Marian wine. This is a sweet wine, it's delicious. Add half a teaspoon of sesame oil, because sesame oil is the best. And we're gonna add everything, everything goes inside. This is how we're gonna make our delicious delicious teriyaki sauce and now come to the stove with me we need to dissolve our sugar so now while my sauce getting started simmering i get a tablespoon of a cornstarch and i mix it with like a little bit of water about a tablespoon all we need we need our sauce to get thickened because now it's very thin okay we'll mix it up come here And you see, it started already simmering. We're gonna wait a little bit until it's gonna start boiling. And here I have my beautiful basmati rice waiting for my salmon because we eat it with rice and it's absolutely delicious. Okay, my sauce is start boiling. Now we mix it and all we need is we need our sugar to dissolve. And now we add our cornstarch just gonna get thickened and this is how you like if you like it too thick you may get a little bit more of our cornstarch but don't forget when it starts boiling it's thin but then when it cool off it boils for a little bit and then when it's gonna cool off it's gonna get a little bit thicker so you don't want it too thick I think this amount is perfect now we're gonna cook it for like I'll make my heat a little bit lower we're gonna cook it for around like 30 seconds and that's it this smells so good. I know, the ginger garlic, mirin wine, soy sauce, sesame oil, oh my god, sesame oil is my favorite. Now we're gonna transfer it to a different dish because I need it to cool off faster because I need to marinate my salmon in this. I cannot marinate it in the heat. So we need to cool it off. Usually in the winter time, I just take it outside. But now I'm gonna transfer it to a different dish and put it in the refrigerator. So now I'm gonna transfer my teriyaki sauce into a container where I'm gonna marinate my fish. My fish is gonna be marinated here, so I'm gonna transfer it here, and just like that, hot. Before I thought you could never put hot food in the refrigerator, but now I read the studies and everything, you can do it. So, like, just like that, I'm gonna pop it in my fridge, and it's gonna cool off much faster because we needed cold to marinate our beautiful salt. Okay guys, uh, my sauce is cold now and it's time for me to marinate my salmon. I'm gonna make sure it covered in all the sizes. So I'm gonna put it skin down and then I'm gonna let it marinate skin up. 
because we need our meat to be marinated. Okay, just like that. And we need to marinate it for 15 minutes to half an hour. I read all these recipes that meat needs the fish marinated for a few hours or overnight guys fish doesn't need to be marinated for so long because it's gonna start cooking and it's on marinade so 15 minutes is more than enough I cover it and i'll see you soon okay guys my salmon marinated for about 20 minutes and now we need to get skillet very very hot dry no oil so what we're doing at this point we take our salmon we take off an excess marinade and we place it skin side down, just like that, just like that. We don't touch it for a minute. This recipe, you're not going to be able to see the skin. I'm going to take it out because with this marinade, the skin is it's impossible to make it crispy. It's just going to be soggy and air. So once we turn it, we're going to take it off. So now, a minute on a high heat. Now, after one minute on a high heat, we're lowering our heat to a medium low and we cover for three minutes. I always use the timer because I could forget and salmon a little bit overcooked, done. So three minutes on a medium low and I'll see you then. So now guys, I'm turning my salmon. Oopsie, and it's breaking, it's okay. Now we're taking the skin off. The skin is not good for this recipe because it's just gonna be soggy and no, not good. We cover it and we cook it for another three minutes and then it's done. Okay guys, now it's been two and a half minutes. What I like to do, I'm flipping my salmon again just to get it nice color on the other side. This is the only way I eat my salmon when it's well done and there is no other way. Some people like it pinky on the inside and that's for my kids to eat. I need it well done. And at this point we need to pour our sauce inside and let it boil. Because don't forget, we marinate it. And this is gonna be a great sauce. It's a lot of it, so it's gonna be great for our rice. If you're not making it with rice, you, know, you could make a little less sauce and to use it right away. You could put it in the fridge and use it next time. So what we need here, we need to bring our sauce to a boiling temperature, let it boil, because it was more fish inside. Soon as it starts boiling, it's done. Okay, my friends, my beautiful salmon is ready, and now I'm gonna plate it. So how do we like to eat it? We like to eat it with our basmati rice that I just cooked, it's still hot. And this sauce is so good with this rice. I mean, whoever knows me, I'm not the biggest fish lover, and I don't like salmon. I never eat salmon. This salmon, I may eat the pieces that's fully well done, but the rice with the sauce, I could eat all day every day. Now, we're gonna plate our salmon. Just like that. This piece, I didn't break it, but I will break it now. Yes, I just did. Oops, I just broke it. Hey, my friends, we're almost done here. Now we take a beautiful sauce. I mean, I had to fix it off the camera because on the camera it was falling apart. So yes, I had to fix it off the camera and now I'm just gonna take the sauce and again I'm making a mess. I'm just gonna drizzle all over my rice, just like that. I need to clean this dish. So you could tell me beautiful presentation, otherwise it's gonna be ugly and dirty. So yes, I'll clean it. Final steps, sesame seeds. As much as a little you want, and of course, 
Beautiful scallion. It gives such a great addition. Beautiful and delicious and of course very healthy. Voila, already. Thank you so much for watching me today. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any more of my delicious videos. And of course, thumbs up, comments, ask me questions, talk to me, I'm here for you guys. And don't miss the special edition right now. Samuel and Daniel are gonna try my beautiful salmon. All right, Daniel's gonna try the salmon for you guys. He's weighing it out. Yeah, so behind the scenes, I'm very, very oriented with how I eat stuff. Try it. Uh, yeah, let's give it a try. It looks amazing. It looks like it's butter. It feels pretty Wow. It's honestly amazing. It's like a salmon steak. What else can you ask for? <laughs> Can't ask for anything else. I mean... Let's see a close-up. Legit. A salmon steak. It's... A salmon lover. Wow. It's moist, juicy, savory. Look at this pink inside. Wow. It just breaks apart very flaky, but also very, very tender. Give me a bite of that. Mmm. That's the stuff. Yeah, definitely my favorite meal. That's the stuff right there.